Ballander NGA Club is a club that's been on the go since nearly the beginning. From 80, it was founded in 1884. Camogie Club was founded in 1968 and has been on the go since. I would describe the club really as community based. Um, it's a small parish. Uh, lots of uh, volunteers, uh, lots of people um, participate and getting involved has been very exciting, I have to say. From a finance perspective, the one thing with finance is I see is the main thing and I think everyone across all codes is, is the transparency. And when we come as a one club, you kind of have to bring everything as a one club, it also has to be the finances. So one of our first things from a finance perspective was the Camogie Treasurer, myself and the Juvenile Club Treasurer, we met um, and that was very important from, from a one club, a one club aspect. We sat down, we had a number of meetings, we still do on a, on a quarterly basis, to discuss what we thought were, were the topics and a few of the main topics that came up, maybe just to give you a few examples, would have been around, you know, even the, the jersey that we have across the club. Historically, you'd have numbers of different jerseys across Camogie, across, across Hurling. So we decided that, you know, we would embark on a, on a vision to have one club jersey with our main sponsor, Blake Manor, who we're very proud to have over the last number of years. Another aspect would have been just small topics like, let's say, gear. You know, the key thing about one club is fairness and equality. And we made sure that, you know, we can't have girls getting one set of gear at a particular time of year and boys getting nothing or vice versa. I suppose when, when I was growing up as, as a young girl, I would always associate my game with hurling. I was always say, I, I'm a hurler. I would never say I'm a camogie player. And I think that the difference when we were younger, we used to never, I suppose, we used to always compete with the boys, especially in the national school. And that left then for a little while, but by introducing the nursery, there's no differentiation. It's inclusive. Boys and girls are the same age. They're developing uh, quite similarly at that particular age group it's only when they go on maybe to uh, 11 and 12 years of age where where the difference um, in I suppose physical development uh, comes into play. Here in Ballandurin we have a wonderful coaching committee we meet quite regularly and we have fantastic workshops and what we've done again through the coaching committee is we have upskilled our younger coaches within the club so rather than going outside of the club looking at uh, qualified coaches we have actually trained up our younger coaches here in the club and they i suppose they you could see it as a mentorship program i do believe yeah there's a, a bigger buy-in from um the the all the clubs and um, they all work together they communicate as a one club and um, we have one page for Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and um, there's, you know, there's, there's a, it's a joint effort for promotion, it's a joint effort for communication. We just basically merged um, the pages into uh, one club and called it Ballandarian Hurling and Camogie Club. You know, at the end of the day, we're competing uh, at a high level um, when it comes to competitions. Um, I don't see, I don't understand the, the reason for having two separate committees, especially when we're the one club. People will volunteer and it's great and they have to be asked, but why have two chairpersons? Why have two secretaries? Why have two treasurers when you can easily just have one and maybe incorporate a, a, an assistant for both? Probably the key to any successful one club is that you make sure that all the committees are combined. If that involves members of your Camogie executive being on your hurling executive or your overall executive, that's key because then the message goes to everyone involved. So hurling knows what Camogie is doing, Camogie knows what hurling is doing. And the same for the juvenile, which we have, we have three separate committees at the moment. But they're all working together, they're all sitting on that main committee, they all know what goes on.